build that we did for a customer that wanted an orange and white automatic VW bus. Uh, had to be orange and white, and it also had to be an automatic transmission. So, uh, we have plenty of those. We started this by uh, shipping it down, and then it went off to uh, paint and body. That's always one of the first things we do. So, um, repairing some of the uh, dents and dings. Um, might have had a little rust too. It's been a while. We've, we've had this one for about seven months or so. Um, it's been done for about three months and I've been driving it. So, um, but they're on their way to pick it up uh, next week, not now, but I wanted to do a little walk around of it to show everybody and give them an idea of what something like this uh, takes to build and uh, how long it takes. Um, and overall just show because it's really cool. Um, so if we just do a little walk around of it, I'll just start pointing out some of the things. Um, the tires are new. They're uh, Iron Man tires. I like them because they have like a one inch white wall. I think it looks really nice, especially with a bus. Um, the uh, chrome and chrome emblem wipers, uh, the seals are new. Uh, the antenna is all new, makes it all look really nice. Uh, the bumpers are uh, worked out like body work and things like that to get them all nice and clean. Um, the new vents inside here with the screws and the turn signal lenses. You've got uh, the side markers we replaced. The side view mirrors are also new. These window seals are new. Uh, these right here are uh, known as sliders. I don't know if it's locked right now, but it is locked. Right but it's really cool, like for the middle, they slide out like that. I really love these windows because it's like so much nicer and easier to just push it down and slide it open um, as opposed to the ones that are like the louvered vents where you spin it and then it comes out. That's my personal preference. But I like those ones. Um, on the inside, it's pretty simple uh, but clean. Uh, nice clean panels, uh, new rubber floor mats, fresh interior. Uh, the dash is fairly nice, uh, the sun visors are replaced, and the headliner above the whole top has um, insulation and new headliner on top. So let me open up this here. Um, for VW buses, it's always like a little trick of opening up these sliding doors. Some open up really nice and some are like little like, like they need WD-40 and things like that and they like you have to kind of wiggle them. Um, what I've gotten used to doing when I open these is a little guiding right here and pushing this down at the same time, but it really depends. So when you click it, this one comes out on its own, but some don't, you gotta kind of like wiggle them right here or put more uh, like lubrication, WD-40. Um, your last final step would be like just replacing that back latch uh, mechanism, whatever. But uh, the inside here, real simple. Plenty of space. Uh, this is what they would call a walkthrough. So meaning that you can just walk through the front right there. Um, some of them are non-walkthrough, they're all covered up. So nice clean paneling. Uh, the seat right here is a back seat, but if you notice these uh, brackets right here, um, I'm not quite sure the name of it, but basically what these brackets do, it just allows you to convert your regular back seat into a back seat that will pull out to a bed. Um, I could probably try to do that right now. Let's see how it goes. If it doesn't want to give right away, uh, I can always do it later. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this part is locked in, but Maybe we can do it later and then I'll do a quick video of uh, how it looks when it's opened up. But basically it pulls all the way out and the seat flaps down, makes a full bed in the back. Pretty nice, I think. I think with VW buses, I love it when they have like a full bed wherever you're driving to and you want to take a nap or relax, like especially the beach, it's like perfect for it. And especially since that backlash pops all the way up, 
Um, you can only imagine how cool it is to just pull up to the beach, open this uh, little back latch and put your bed and just kind of, you know, watch the waves or whatever, or people. Um, nice clean floor. Uh, this bus was a really nice one to begin with, a uh, real solid bus. Um, it didn't run, uh, the brakes didn't work. Uh, I don't think the electrical really worked that well either, but it all does now. Uh, we went through, uh, repaired the electrical, all the brakes are replaced. Um, the motor, the motor was fully inspected and we replaced a lot of things in the motor. I ended up needing a new gas tank. Um, the rear suspension needed to be adjusted. It was uh, a, a bit lowered in the back. Um, so it, it got that, it got new um, shocks in the front and in the back. Um, with the motor, like I said, uh, the gas tank, the battery, um, the fuel injection system. This is a uh, fuel injected bus, 1979, uh, two liter motor fuel injected. And uh, we didn't want to convert it to carburetor. I wanted to try to like keep it the way it, it was built. Um, plus it really wasn't that bad. It just needed fuel injection, uh, fuel injectors, new fuel pump, and like I said, the gas tank. Um, kind of a big headache, kind of pricey, but it runs super duper nice. Like I really love the way this thing runs. Um, and that's also why I love like the later model buses, like 78, 79, they just seem to like cruise really, really nice. So super clean motor, uh, all this stuff is replaced too, like the little side, uh, little side uh, vents. Uh, the distributor is new. All the hoses are new and replaced. So a lot of work uh, goes into getting it running that way. Um, these are replaced too. New, um, I don't know what they call them. Rear hatch vent, no, rear hatch seals. This license plate will go right here, of course. Um, I have that little latch, just haven't put it on. I'll probably do that today before I head out. I'm taking this thing uh, on a little cruise, drive it around, and sometime next week, the buyers will come down and pick it up and it'll be ready to go. Um, it's clean titled, it's registered, it's daily drivable, uh, it's done uh, to the best that a VW bus can be done. I mean, you can definitely put a whole lot more into stuff if you want, but really nice for what it is. These are replaced, these are replaced. I think this bumper is new, I don't remember. It's been a little while. Normally we don't have buses this long, but we like to work with the customers and they were not able to uh, pick it up till this following week. So. Let me know what you guys think in like the comments. Uh, if you wanna see another bus like this, uh, we've got plenty of them that we can share. Um, we can even uh, get a little video of it driving around and stuff. So. Let me close up this side. Put the window down. automatic bus beautiful condition ready to go